Hey guys, today we're going to do a bit of kite aerial video. I've had a few goes at this uh, over the years, um, using the Picavet mount and some other mounts I've tried. Always the results have been unusable. Uh, but this time we've got a bit more of a plan, so we're going to have a bit of a go with a gimbal. Um, this is an example of one that didn't work particularly well. Swung around all over the sky and the results would literally just about make you throw up trying to watch it. But you can see with the uh, the tail that we're trying to achieve there with the sort of thing staying the, the one uh, position into the wind all the time. So anyway, uh, starting this off, get the kite up. Uh, I've probably run out about, ooh, say, 70 metres a line. Attach that to the fence. Walk back to the end, attach the kite put the kite up, walk the line back so the kite gradually sort of came up while I was walking the, uh, the line back out, let out another 50 metres of line, um, so I've now got the, uh, got the Ultrafoil 15 on the go today and that's probably up, well, I've got about 150 metres of line out I reckon. So this is the uh, trusty Picavet mount, Picavet mount, not quite sure how you pronounce that, a uh, little bit unbalanced because uh, I haven't got the camera on it yet. And here is the secret weapon, the Fei Yu Tech, I think I've pronounced that right, uh, wearable gimbal. It's a weird little thing, especially when it's not powered because it sort of flops around all over the place. Um, and you might be looking at that thinking it looks like he's got a dollar coin stuck on it. He does, um, because I've got a GoPro Hero 2 and it's designed for a GoPro Hero 3 which is about a, a little bit lighter. So I've just used that coin as a little bit of a counterweight and ballast to try and uh, even things out a little bit. Um, so anyway, with that on the uh, the uh, hanging underneath the big event mount, that should give me some nice stable uh, footage. That's the plan. Now always let your kite out uh, first uh, and get it up in stable air. Um, I mean the GoPro in the case is pretty tough. Uh, the gimbal, even though it's all metal, uh, wouldn't. I don't think that would survive a crash with the ground uh, and the GoPro's out of its case. So you want the kite, oh, I don't know, 40 metres up in the air or something, 30 metres, till it's nice and stable and then you can attach uh, the Picavet mount and your gimbal and you know it's not going to sort of go, um, kite's not going to sort of spiral around and crash into the ground because of the low turbulence. So you get it above the turbulence um, and then as you can see we're hooking up the, the Picavet mount here. Yes, this is a funny little thing. It's weird. Oh, you've got to be a bit careful with this button too. Um, it's, it's really easy when you're handling the device to accidentally hit the button. Uh, and if there's no GoPro in it, it tends to go a bit, um, a bit spastic, so I'm told. I haven't done it yet, but it's something to keep an eye on. It's got a couple of uh, quarter inch um, screw holes, one on the bottom and one on the end. And you can either use just your standard quarter inch um, camera screws or you can use uh, the GoPro adapters too. Now just switch that on with one long press and you can see it's pointing the wrong direction. Give it a triple press and it goes into inverted mode and flips around the other way so it'll work quite fine upside down. When you turn this thing on first up it goes into what's called I think panning follow mode so the tilt uh, and the rotation will stay locked but it will slowly turn to whichever way you're facing or in this case the Picavet mount's facing which I don't want. Um, a single long press will put it into lock mode uh, and that then locks uh, your tilt, your pan uh, and your uh, rotation if I've got that right. You can also manually uh, hold the, the tilt to a particular up or down position and after a second or so the camera will take that and keep that um, level of tilt there. So one long press on the button, too long and you'll turn it off. Uh, when you do get it into lock mode the blue light will stay on constantly on the button and you can see that no matter what I do with the picavet mount the camera stays magically pointed in the same direction. quickly run back to the fence here. He's on quick. And same shot from the kite. Now you can already see this is going up and because we're sort of a fair way from the ground you're not really aware of the movement. If this was close to the ground uh, the ground would be going up and down like Billy O and it'd be really disorientating. But once you're away from anything near um, 
it really tends to kick in and stabilize everything. And look, I've probably got 15, 20 minutes of footage and it's all like this, it's all usable. And generally speaking, I can take half an hour of video footage and I'll be lucky if I get 30 seconds. So this has worked really well. You can also see I've carefully positioned the camera so I just get that little annoying bit of the end of the arrow in the shot. Good on me. Now when I bring the kite down, um, or bring the, uh, bring the camera down to arm's reach, it's still in lock mode, uh, a single press takes it back into panning follow mode, then I grab the top of the picker bet, I turn the whole thing round so the camera points then in the direction I want it to point, and then I press one long press on the uh, second or so press till the light goes solid blue, and then it's back in lock mode and will hold that position, then I can let go of the top of the picker bet um, no matter which way it flops around the camera stays pointed in the direction I just pointed it at. If that makes sense. Obviously with a GoPro it's best to have the thing uh, level because the more you point it up or the more you point it down you get these horrible curved uh, horizons. I think there's some software you can fix that with in video. I've got um, PT Lens which fixes it in still photos but I'm not sure that I've got uh, software that'll actually fix it in video. And I have no idea what I'm saying to the camera there. Goodbye. <laughs>